What's up? Yes, Stanley we're back here to again. To the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of the little solitude was terrifying to him. Okay, there actually are two rooms, so I didn't go crazy the last time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I went left twice and right twice. I started with right, so I think I'm just gonna go left this time once again. Deviate at a different place. Yet there was not a single person here either. Except Feeling the whiteboard manager. Disbelief, That's Stanley me. Decided to I'm go the whiteboard manager. Office, hoping he might find an answer there. Ooh, can I print my butt? Or scan? Zen co-workers were not supporting you more. Room closet. Nope, not again. Oh god damn it. Last Coming time I to went to staircase, Stanley down. walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm gonna go upstairs again. Perhaps there's something else in the boss's office. Whoa whoa whoa, there's a door executive bathroom. Because the boss knows that he what the boss says goes. If the boss suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Extreme bathrooms? He has a magazine of that? He has a toilet fetish? What the fuck? Okay. Well, that's the executive bathroom, I suppose. Oh, we haven't gone here. What the fuck? Panda! Oh my god. Let's go down the elevator here. Poor panda. Pandas are awesome. Don't shoot him. Up we go. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I love this music. Dun, dun. How long are we going to be in the elevator? And I don't like the fact that we're actually going up this time. Every single time we went down, before at least. So I wonder what lies upstairs. Please don't tell me I'm stuck here again. Elevator. Stuck in the fucking elevator. It's still shaking. It still sounds as if it's moving. Here we go. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. No, hell no. This it seems sound seems like I'm in a in a washing machine or something. The inside, the way it's shaking, and, but except for the loud tumbling noise, rumbling noise, we have pleasant music. But that's not why I want to be in here. Don't you dare! Don't you? Oh fuck! Ah. Damn this elevator! There's no other place. Can't go back here. Bathroom, yeah, I don't want to know what he does in there. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. Paintings. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. 
And so the boss had a son. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. No, that you've kind talked of anxiety more than enough. Isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. This is what I get for rushing through it. I'm calm, dude. Don't you worry. I'm calm. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Did this happen last time too? I can't remember. I... What? Did this happen last time? I remember going down here. Did this happen to last time? I don't... I'm so confused. That's what this game does to me. It messes with my brain. It, ugh. And I'm not a smart person to begin with. Oh, this definitely seems familiar though. Ah, yes. Here Stanley we are. walked straight ahead through the large door that read nope. Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. <laughs> violent death or go back and have the same ending probably. God, just kill me. The door me. behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on No, track. it's fine. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his I'm death. I'm a man. I don't run away from my death. I accept it. What? Holy shit! <laughs> really? Did I just fall to my death? Yep, that was definitely planned. Holy cow! That's gotta hurt, right? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss Can by I go? plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end no. to his brief and shadow. I don't resign. Yeah. No. Hmm? Fuck. Stop. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh, I just... I fell. I didn't die. I fell. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as they ever. They know me too well. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I don't know, why did we change when the narrator? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? He was dead all along? Nature paintings. Stanley's computer. This is like the hall of Stanley. Office layout. The pr this blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors of the was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development, though the core layout remains almost identical to the, to the first iteration. So that's his office. He walks through here. That's the first office. That's the second office. And that's the the one where you get your first choice pretty much corridor the pacing of this opening sections was important to get right the corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the players reaches the two doors in a good time what do you mean good time 
the two doors. The set of two doors was the very first conceit, concrete piece of the Stanley's, Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it and an exploration of the contradiction of this, this room posed. So the beginning is just the same every time. And then it changes. It's like the Hall of Fame. Room 001, room 002. The office. Button sounds. A selection of the sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. I never heard that one. I heard that one, I think. Okay. So this was filing cabinets. <laughs> this really seems like some sort of hall of fame. Screw you computers. Credits. Kevin Brighton. That's the dude. That's the dude. The narrator. Left or right. But I'm 437. Off it. What the hell is this? Maintenance room, an early version of the maintenance room. This is like a behind the scenes or something. What's going on? These screenshots are of the Stanley Parable HD Remix. More endings, fewer endings. More narrators, fewer narrators. More Stanley, less Stanley. The point of the point of the Stanley Parable HD Remix is to win. Well, I won twice. Am I going crazy? Maybe this isn't the same image. What? Maybe it isn't the same image. Was that clock there before? I don't remember. How do I go back? Can you check for me? <laughs> That's. That sound like word sentences every single person in this game says. The point is to lose. God. What the hell is this? War zone? Just place the bike in sand and then some metal with barbed wire early in development we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens the action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator we shortly realized shortly after starting to build it it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game plus some people interpreted as it as making fun of people who like shooters which was not our intention Hey, I like shooters. Shooters are fine. They're pretty fun every now and then. God, where am I? What is this room? New result. Wow, congratulations. In the line with our previous announcement regarding the ongoing promotion, here is the result in attached file. Open it carefully and see the f what. Are you gay? <laughs> From Ding Dong, subject gay. Narrate the emails. After the second trailer we sent out after the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had while we had initially planned to use these in the further promotion materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are the selections of those emails. I wanted to tell you I like the Are you a rock? Oh my god, these emails. It's like one serious ones and then one joke one. The lounge, an early version of the <laughs> What the fuck is this? The office. Where the hell? This is a freaking maze. Sending levers. I haven't. Part of the sending. The player would pull a lever and the narrator would describe what color. I've never been there yet. Are this Trailers. We ran four major trailers over the course of the game development. Each meant to con convey something about the spirit of the game. The first one released in May 2012. It's a feature of a series of broken rooms in the voice of the narrator informing viewers that he's preparing a new version of the Stanley Parable. The game is now paused. Yeah, I've seen that screen many times. Sending. I wasn't there either. Monitor room elevator. Yeah, I've been there many times. Countdown desk, one of the desks. Oh my god, I don't. I'll just go to the exit. I don't know. 
what else there is, but this <laughs> seems rather familiar again. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. On and off. How they both wish to be free. Do we pull it? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? I can't see it. No, I'm blind. It's black. Not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. No, no, you no. Still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Tell me how. Escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you uh, move not doing forward, that. you'll be walking someone else's nah, path. Uh, uh. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time <laughs> choose for me. I'm dead. I'm dead. No way was I gonna quit there. Hell no. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep. And the screen is black. <sighs> so I suppose there's another ending. Another one where he dies. But yeah, apparently he didn't even live from the start to begin with. So everything is in, fa is in vain. Everything that I do, it doesn't mean anything. Am I even alive? Is this real? Can't it just be a dream? You know, in one of the early ones I was dreaming about being in space and smoking some crack or something. Can this just be a dream of me playing the Stanley Parable? going crazy thinking it's actually a game where you can have fun but this game that makes you think makes you ponder the meaning of life of whether life or whether life is there to begin with I don't think so fuck life that's all I can say or fuck Stanley Parable either one I like this game though so fuck life yeah that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm gonna try and find some more endings. I don't know if there are any more. There should be. There was one with the zipper levers or something. So I'll try and find it. See ya.